Hi guys, Marcus here, and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, July thirteenth, twenty twenty one. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, and this is episode four hundred and ten. Now, because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, click CC for English subs. I create them myself. In today's episode, Seven Ten and Bai Jingting in New Generation. You are my glory's rumored premiere date. And my first thoughts on the Flaming Heart. But first, here's what's recently premiered. Lover or Stranger is a modern suspense drama starring Victoria Song and Oh Hao, and it premiered yesterday, July 12. It follows a young violinist played by Victoria Song who loses her memory after being involved in an avalanche. She now has to deal with her upcoming wedding with her mysterious fiance played by Oh Hao, and find out who he really is. Sounds like something conspiracy suspense drama fans might be into. The drama is slated for 29 episodes and is available on YouTube with English subs. My Faded Boy is a modern romance drama starring Sierra Lee and He Yu, and it premiered yesterday as well. It follows a career-focused woman played by Sierra Lee. She's in her 30s and has known her neighbor, an overseas returnee in his 20s, since they were children, and has always treated him like a younger brother. Now that they're all grown up, brotherly love develops into romance. The drama is slated for 29 episodes and is available on YouTube with English subs. Gourmet in the Tang Dynasty is a costume drama starring Li Zixuan and Liu Renan, and it premiered yesterday as well. It follows a modern-day blogger who passes out after choking on donuts during a live stream. She wakes up to find herself transported into the body of a super thin girl in the Tang Dynasty. While there, she develops a crush for a dashing gentleman, but the irony is that her newly found thin physique isn't attracting suitors who seem to be more drawn to full-figured girls. I checked it out quickly, and it has comedy written all over it. Also, the episodes are only about nine minutes long. It is slated for 27 episodes and is available on YouTube with all kinds of subs, but the English one is auto-translated. And lastly, Love Is Beautiful is a modern family drama starring Zhang Xiaoyi and Sha Yi, and it premiered earlier today. It follows a university graduate who meets her biological father in the most unexpected way, and discovers that the father she knows and respect is actually her stepfather. It is slated for 40 episodes and is available on Mango TV. No English subs at the moment. It might be coming to YouTube soon, though, as Mango TV's channel on YouTube has its trailer. So four new dramas hitting the streams in the past couple of days. Here's a recap of them for your convenience. You can pause and write them down, or take a snapshot if any of them appeal to you. And that's it for what's recently premiered. Moving on, here's Seven Tan and Bai Jingting and their latest. The two-star story on the series New Generation has premiered, and the first few episodes are available to view on YouTube with English subs. New Generation is a collection of six stories, each eight episodes long, and each featuring a different cast. Previous stories have featured stars like Sean Doe, Janice Wu, and Leon Zhang. Seven Tan and Bai Jingting's story is entitled "In Wei You Jia," literally translated as "Because There's a Home." In it, Seven Tan plays a college student, and Bai Jingting plays a social media celebrity. They lead the villagers of their hometown as they revitalize its economy through e-commerce. Next up, here's an update on the highly anticipated "You Are My Glory." On July 11th, "You Are My Glory" released two new posters. They feature the two stars, Yang Yang and Del Raba, on an artsy background. Looks like rabbits running around in the clouds or something like that. Of course, the real update you guys want is a premiere date. There has been more than a few asking about that in previous videos comments sections. Unfortunately, there's no official premiere date that I can update on yet, but there is a rumored one, July 18th. That's just five days away. I've seen that date on a couple of websites. I'll keep my eye on it and update you guys as soon as something official gets announced. 
In You Are My Glory, Del Raba plays a popular celebrity who seeks an aerospace engineer played by Yang Yang to be her gaming coach. Next up, a few raps and bootings to update on. The Legendary Life of Queen Lao is an upcoming costume drama starring Jackie Lee and Li Hongyi, and they wrapped filming yesterday. It was a three-month shoot for the drama, and they also released some character posters already. Jackie Lee plays a village girl who marries into the royal family. Together with Li Hongyi's character, they go from being the most mismatched royal couple in history to the most beautiful royal couple in history. Moving on now, a couple of drama bootings, beginning with Vacation of Love Season 2, an upcoming modern family drama starring Liu Tao and Cheng He. They started filming on July 3rd. Vacation of Love Season 1 was a nice little drama that I enjoyed. It follows a family that goes on a vacation, and during that vacation, pent-up feelings beneath the surface blow up, hilarity ensues, and romantic sparks fly for some as well. The main couple in Season 1 was played by Yao Chen and Bai Yu. She's a heartbroken talent manager, he's a sandal-wearing, guitar-playing beach dude whom she makes a connection with. I could be wrong, but I don't think Liu Tao is taking over Yao Chen's character. I think she's playing a new character, going on a new vacation. I'm looking forward to Season 2, and those of you who haven't seen Season 1, I can recommend it if you're looking for some heartwarming moments and some laughs. Also holding their booting ceremony recently is My Divine Envoy, a costume drama starring Li Zixuan and Chen Jingke. They started filming on July 11th. The drama tells the story of a naughty modern-day girl who gets transported to ancient times and how she uses her modern-day knowledge to win a prince's affection. And lastly, another drama that started filming is The Fighting Thief, a modern cops and robbers drama starring Johnny Huang. They started filming yesterday in Xi'an. Johnny Huang stars as Ping Sanke, a cop who goes undercover to take down the infamous King of Thieves. Johnny Huang is also just coming off My Dear Guardian, a modern romance drama in which he plays a soldier. Not surprising that he plays yet another Disciplined Services member in his new drama. And next up, I recently caught the first two episodes of The Flaming Heart, and without giving away any spoilers, here are my first thoughts on the drama. The Flaming Heart is a modern drama starring Simon Gong and Zhang Huiwen, and it premiered on July 8th. It is slated for 24 episodes and is available on YouTube with English subs. The drama features a romance between a man in uniform and a female doctor, a premise that we've seen quite a bit in recent times. There's You Are My Hero with Sandra Ma and Bai Jingting, and more recently, My Dear Guardian with Johnny Huang and Li Qing. Both of those were 40 episodes long, and although I enjoyed them, I remember thinking that they could have been shorter. There were filler scenes and dialogue that I thought they could have done without. Maybe The Flaming Heart would be perfect at 24 episodes? Anyway, I don't want to jump too far ahead, but two episodes in, and I'm indeed enjoying it. In The Flaming Heart, Simon Gong plays a firefighter who during an incident where he rescues a pregnant woman, meets Chang Hui Wen's character, a doctor from emergency services. They work together again when they are sent to an earthquake-stricken area for a rescue mission and start making a positive connection. After that, they return to their city where they find out that a highly infectious virus has broken out, something we can all relate to. Simon Kong is one of the most sought-after drama actors these days. This is his second drama to air since coming off the overwhelming success of Word of Honor, and he's one of the main reasons I think this drama is so good so far. His portrayal of Huo Yan, the firefighter, is spot on. He can be serious and dutiful when he needs to be, and charming and funny when the scene calls for it. Female lead Zhang Hui Wen's portrayal as Yan Lan, the doctor, is another reason why I'm enjoying this drama. I first saw her in Nirvana and Fire 2, and then again in Legend of Fei. Both were costume dramas, so her role in The Flaming Heart is a new look and feel for her. In fact, her role in The Flaming Heart is her first ever lead role in a modern drama. I also want to give props to the supporting cast who have been great so far as well. 
And the one thing that's made it work so well so far, the one thing that's tied it all together, is that there's no overdubbing. We get to hear the actors' real voices. It makes such a huge difference when not only do we get to see the actors emote, we get to hear the happiness or sadness or excitement or trepidation in their voices. There's also been some good humor in the first couple of episodes. I specifically enjoyed the part where Simon Kung's character guides his colleague and friend through a date. And lastly, the drama also has some dramatic and for the most part believable fire and disaster scenes. I think for this type of drama, that's important to have. If you're looking for a funny modern romance drama between a man in uniform and a woman from the medical services sector, maybe give this one a shot. And on that note, it's Tuesday today, so it's time for another segment of Where's Marcus At? So the title of the segment doesn't refer to where I'm at physically, it refers to where I'm at in the dramas I'm following. I'm currently following two dramas. I'm on episode 24 of Ancient Love Poetry starring Zhou Dongyu and Xu Kai. I'm taking my time with the drama. Slowly but surely, I'll get there. The drama will be airing its finale pretty soon. I'm following it on WeTV, where it's available in 1080 with English subs. I'm on episode 3 of The Flaming Heart, starring Simon Gong and Zhang Huiwen. We spoke about that earlier on. I'm following it on YouTube, where it's available with English subs. And that's been another segment of Where's Mark Is At? And before I let you guys go, I want to leave you with an interesting taste in your mouth, so to speak. Now, I'm not much of a pizza eater, but I do get my cravings once in a while, especially when I'm watching TV and these cheesy pizza commercials come on. Anyway, in the past, I've heard of pizzas with some funky toppings coming out of the Far East, but this latest one takes the cake for me. Recently, the Pizza Hut in Taiwan released a pizza pie topped with preserved egg, cilantro, and congealed pig's blood. For those of you who don't know, those three items are actually quite common in congees and soups in China, Vietnam, Malaysia, and other parts of Southeast Asia. But on pizza? I guess why not if it sells? Anyway, that brings us to the end of this episode. If you want to check out the Word of Honor t-shirt, or the Long Ballad mug, or other Chinese drama merchandise, there's a link to it in the description below. And this show would not be possible without you guys tuning in, so I thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed it, do subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, you'll have access to perks like a recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. So stay safe, and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers!